Good day everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stefan's Kitchen. And this time I've been requested to do something, so today, let's cook pub style wings and honey garlic sauce. Now I know what you're thinking, honey garlic sauce, well I'm not going to be doing a homemade from scratch one, but I'm actually going to be uh, just showing you how, I guess, um, bars and pubs and restaurants kind of uh, thicken the sauce for it. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our split chicken wings, of course. Now, if you want to, you can buy the club packs where they're not already split. Uh, it's not very hard to cut these up. As you can see, these were actually cut up with the knife there. And uh, we don't usually keep the wingtips because there's not really much on the wingtips besides skin, uh, very small bones, and some fat. So we usually skip those. So next, we're going to make the batter for the chicken wings. So you're going to want to have four cups of flour. And as you can see there behind the flour, we made, made, made some egg wash, which is basically two or three eggs and a little bit of milk, just whisk it together. Next, we're going to add some seasoning to the batter, which is some chives. We're going to add about two tablespoons of chives here to the mix. Next, we're going to add some basil, some basil. <laughs> And again, about a tablespoon for the basil, or basil, sorry. And uh, next we're going to use oregano, and again, another tablespoon for that, because you've got a, quite a bit of flour there, so you want to add some good seasoning. Next, some parsley, and again, another tablespoon. So two tablespoons for the chives, and a tablespoon of each other uh, additional ingredient. So, as you can see, chili powder, another tablespoon. And next we're going to put our wings directly into the egg wash. Now, this will give them the, uh, a different kind of consistency, and it also help the um, batter stick to the wings much better. So yeah, once you get them in there, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty, raw eggs, raw chicken, and uh, mix it all around. Next, we're going to add some salt to this uh, to the batter as well, because of course you want to make sure that everything's seasoned, because if you don't season your batter, it's going to be very bland and take away from the taste of your chicken. So, of course, next we're going to add some black pepper, some freshly ground black pepper. And again, this is just a season, so you can be generous. It's, again, like I said, because it's batter, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of flour there. So a lot of the seasoning might end up on the bottom of the, the bowl. So next we're going to add this chi uh, garlic powder, sorry, another tablespoon. And next we're going to add the onion powder. Again, I bet another tablespoon. Now, I should consider putting that onion powder into a container, or into a little shaker, actually. So next, we're going to, again, take all these chicken wings, and we're going to throw them directly into the bowl, with all the seasoning. And once we do, we're going to mix it all around, as much as possible. Again, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Have some water running on the side so you can easily wash up afterwards. Next we're going to do this honey garlic sauce, and basically I'm just going to take a small bottle of honey garlic sauce, put it in a saucepan, and let it heat up. And um, while it's starting to warm up, you can take a jar or any kind of uh, container, and you can make some thickening, which is basically two tablespoons of cornstarch and some warm water. And you want to slowly add your thickening to your sauce here. And don't worry, because this is cornstarch, it's not going to really take away much from the flavor of the sauce itself and it's not going to add too much to it. So once that happens, just start to let the, the sauce boil and uh, you can start cooking your wings here in a, in a deep fryer. And as you can see, <laughs> those are going to be cooked pretty quickly. So once you get them all done, you're going to want to uh, take it out of your deep fryer, obviously. <laughs> and there we go, just give them a quick shake, don't want any extra grease, I mean they are I mean, this is usually what you expect for pub wings. Some of them do it baked, and that's fine, but I do enjoy the crispiness of chicken wings that are deep fried, so I know they're not good for you, but... So your wings should look like this. They'll be cooked all the way through. Make sure that, you know, your batter won't burn right away, so take your time with it. Okay, so once your thickening has boiled, you can turn it off, and it should be nice and thick at this point. So then what you do is just drizzle it all over your cooked wings. And that's pretty much all you have to do. That's the easy, easy way of doing pub style wings. And believe me, this sauce will stick to your wings perfectly. The thickening agent that's in the cornstarch actually, not only does it thicken, but it almost um, makes it a little more stickier, like it sticks to the wings much nicer. So I think you'll enjoy it quite a bit. And if you do, I would love to see a response video. That would be awesome. Uh, and again, I hope you guys try, at least try this recipe and uh, let me know what you think. 
right now the only thing we have left to do is we gotta shake our wings around a little bit make sure to get all saucy here we go now you don't have to use honey garlic sauce either you can use barbecue sauce any kind you want there's a honey garlic bonanza barbecue sauce that we get by bullseye that's really awesome as well and yeah as you can see robin robin is actually the one who cooked this and uh Actually, my friend Ben, Blind Man's World, was the one who asked me to do the pub stall wings. He's a big wing lover, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this, dude. I really do. <laughs> and I hope everybody else did as well. And like I said, don't worry about using honey garlic sauce. This is just uh, what we enjoy having as well, so. And there you have it. All those w wings are nice and soused. So, again, as always, thank you all for watching. I am Stefan for Stefan's Kitchen, and I will see you all soon in a new episode. Take care, everybody.